Hello. Uh, hello, guys. So, good evening to everyone. It's been a while since we have a live video. And uh, happy new year to you all. Happy new year. So, this is the first Sunday of the year. Wow. 2021 is here. So, I mean, Today, just gonna be doing a uh, question and answer because uh, I think that uh, there's gonna be some questions considering that we haven't done like any live video in about two weeks. So yeah, and um, we've got one person in the building and uh, happy new year to you all. And uh, it's so nice to see some of you here right now. So Manuel, good evening, how are you doing? Uh, Happy New Year to you. Hello, hello, everybody. We've got three people in the building. So yeah, let's let's make this live video quick. Let's make it short and quick. So let's let this question start coming in. I mean, I know that pretty much a lot of you guys have started uh, your application. And uh, I know for sure that uh, some people have started getting feedback and some people have already paid the application fees and stuff like that. So bring in your questions. Steven Gerard, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you have um, any question for me, do not hesitate to ask because on today's live video, we basically talking, it's all about question and answers. So let the questions start coming in guys. <laughs> Bring in your question. So how was your New Year's, guys? How was a New Year's or how was your New Year's Eve? What did you guys do? I mean, I just hung out with my friends and, uh, you know, watch some fireworks. Yeah, Steven, Gerard, it's so nice to have you, yeah? So basically... Thank you for joining the, to this live video. Manuel, I'm taking my ILTS next week, so immediately I get my result. I will be reapplying to US and also DART too. That sounds really great. That sounds good. So I wish you good luck in your ILTS exam. I hope you've really prepared for it because uh, it is English, but uh, it has a different format and I, I just wanted to be ready for it. So. Do all your best and try to prepare for the exam because uh, it is a bit, uh, how will I say? It? It's just a bit tricky. There's nothing hard about it, but it's a bit tricky. So, yeah. We've got four people in the building. Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year to you. If you join to this live, live uh, YouTube video, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you're my OG, my OGs, welcome back. And uh, feel free to ask me your question and I will be answering you whatever you want to know about studying Estonia, working in Estonia, or being a tech guy. I mean, whatever I know, right? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Namun, hello Namun, how are you doing? So basically, like I said, uh, this year there's going to be some transition going in my YouTube channel. Like some of you already saw, like some of you guys already saw like from the first, very first video that I uploaded, I was talking about my job and a day in my life. So that's more like a lifestyle kind of video. So basically I will be doing a lot of more lifestyle video this year. And I will also be talking about Estonia, of course. But uh, if coronavirus permits me to travel, I will also be doing some travel vlog, which it will be so nice. So this year is going to be full of a lot of adventures, interesting news and uh, achievements. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, because we cannot, I cannot do this alone. We can only do this together. Steven, totally, how much would it cost to study in Estonia? I have slightly above ten thousand dollars. Would that be enough? Uh, Steven, it depends on your situation, basically. So you need about 3,500 euros to actually be able to get the student visa. So which means that uh, 
if you have in like if the rest of the money that you have is able to pay your tuition fees if you are coming here to pay your tuition fees that means that it's enough i guess so basically it all depends on how much your tuition fees is and how where are you coming from your flight ticket how expensive it is and you know your plans and your budget and everything but i think 10k is enough depending on your cost of study if you have to pay a lot of money or you have to pay less money Namun, I'm glad to hear that you are doing good, that you are doing good. If you have any question for me, do not hesitate to ask me. So let's start today's video on a good note. And uh, yeah, so like I was saying, as I was saying before, Steven asked me a question. Ah, Manuel also asked me a question. Ah, sorry, Manuel. Do you know more about Croatia? I'm also applying for software engineering in Croatia. Yes, I know about Croatia. I, I have a lot of friends from there and I have been there myself. I would say Croatia is a pretty decent country with a lot of opportunities. But however, I would recommend that if you're going to Croatia, you should go to Zagreb because um, even, even you will be in Zagreb, there is not so many black people in Croatia. It is more like Estonia. I would even say that Estonia is more exposed to like people of color than, than Croatia. So I would say that if you're going to Croatia, you have to be like really already to actually be able to, uh, to like explain yourself a lot or not care about people looking at you on the street because, you know, it's just normal for them because they don't get to see black people a lot of like every day, you know. I was in Croatia for a week and uh, I knew what it was like. It was fun and interesting. There was, I didn't have any, I didn't feel anything like racism. So I love it in general. And as soon as the, I can travel again, I'll probably be going back to Croatia for vacation. So yeah. Namun, please repeat that again. What do you want me to repeat again, Namun? Can, could you ask your question? Because I don't know what you want me to repeat again. <laughs> I'm saying a lot of stuff. So yeah, basically guys, that's uh, what I'm saying about the channel. The channel is going through like a lot of transition and uh, we're going to be talking more about myself. I'm going to be talking more about tech, things that I found really fascinating. I'm going to be talking more about Estonia, like interesting things like, you know, like doing some random stuff with friends, cooking and stuff, like more like a lifetime vlog. And also I'm going to be doing traveling vlog if, um, if I can travel, depending on Corona and stuff. So basically that's it. We have another person in the building, Ligari Dennis. Hello, Dennis, it's good to see you again. Uh, you just made your application, that's nice. Uh, I would like to know what school you're applying for and uh, what course you're applying to. Uh, give us more details so I can give you some advice if you would like to or not. So basically, that is that is uh, basically that's uh, what I'll be. That's the transition that the channel is going to be going through this year. And there's a particular video that I really want to uh, make and release before, not before. Let's say by the end of January, because uh, there's something that is actually delaying the video. But uh, the video is already like in process. I started recording it. But uh, there's gonna be a delay because um, I wanna achieve something before I actually release the video. So basically, for some of you guys, know that I am supposed to graduate like last semester, but I couldn't because of my nothing. I just used like thesis as excuse. But yeah, there was some stuff going on with me, which is the main reason why I couldn't graduate. But I will be doing my graduation in January this year, hopefully. Finger crossed, and. Uh, I will be sharing my experience and talking about the main reason why you should graduate on time because it has a lot of disadvantages if you don't graduate from school on time. So in that video that I will be releasing in the end of the month, January, I will be talking about a lot of my experiences, my the things that I've learned and uh, what are the complications of not graduating on time. So I'll be sharing with you guys. So stay tuned. Hmm. MSc Software Engineering University of Tartu. Wow, that's great. That's a very nice course to study here in Estonia. And I believe that uh, 
I believe that you will make it if you have what it takes. And uh, it's a very demanding and challenging course, but it's a very good career path that you've chosen, especially since you come into Estonia. So finger crossed for you, and I, I believe you will get in. So yeah. Namun, what amount of money do I need for visa? My tuition fee is about 2,040 euros for first semester. Kindly help me understand this aspect. Thank you. So Namun, basically your tuition fees is 2,040 euros for each semester. So you must have 4,480, no, 4,080 euros in your account plus the cost of living in Estonia before you are, you will be given the visa or the resident permit. So which means that in total, the proof of fund that you'll be showing must be not less than 7,800 euros or something like that, almost 8K, almost 8,000 euros you have to have your bank account. Then after paying your tuition fees, then you should have about 4,000 euros in your account. So basically that's that's what you need minus your flight ticket, your visa fee, everything like that. Just the money, like a proof of fund that you need to have is about 4K, so yeah. Your proposed school is Tallinn University. It doesn't really matter. You just need to have the tuition fees. So you just need to have tuition fees. You have to pay at least one year. But I know universities like Tallinn University, they allow you to pay like monthly. It depends on the arrangement. So yeah, it depends. You should communicate more with the school and you should watch my videos on how to get visa, how to get like Estonian visa, how to how to study in Estonia, how to do like a lot of explanation and stuff like that. And if you have any question, just go to one of those videos, watch what I say. And if there's anything that you don't really understand, just ask me straight from there and I'm going to reply you. I think it's the best way to actually, if you watch the video, then you have all the information that you need. But they, then if there's something that is not so clear, you can just make a comment on that thing, specific thing that is not clear to you. Then I will reply you. Oh, that way it's easier for both me and you because you've already watched the video. You understand what I was talking about. And you're just asking me additional information that you think it will be necessary for you. And those informations that you will be asking me through my YouTube videos will be there because when other people come, they can always read back the comments and not ask the same question again, because they can only see the reference, the question and the answers and everything like that. So I, I'm guessing that you get the point, so yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, you're welcome the moon. So basically, yeah, so is there any more questions for me, guys? Uh, let's try and do 30 minutes of live video today. I'm gonna try to do that and uh, because uh, I haven't been here like in a while talking to you guys. Uh, I think I miss doing this and uh, I miss giving information and stuff. So yeah. So let's go, let's go, let's go. More questions, please. We've got five people in the building. We've got six people in the building. Hello and welcome to, to my YouTube live video for today and happy new year to you all. And uh, if you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to ask me. I hope you all have seen my video about uh, a day in my life as a software developer. That's a video that I made uh, last week because uh, I will, I, it was the, the last week of the year. So when I felt like I needed to do something interesting in my YouTube channel and also to show what I do as what I do for a living. And uh, I just like, it was not a show off. It was just uh, something that I found. It's my job. I love my job. and I. I found my job really interesting to me. So I just want to show you more of my personality rather than just coming here and talking about Estonia. But I also want to show you like a bit of me and that's basically why I did make the video. How many countries have you visited so far in Europe? How many are you planning to visit? Uh, I don't think I can really answer that question because I have traveled a lot. <laughs> And, uh, but in total, I've been to about 42 countries in total, not just in Europe, like in the whole world, because I've been to Asia, I've been, I lived in Africa and uh, now I live in Europe. So I have traveled a lot, about 42 countries. If some of you that follows me on my Instagram will see some countries that I've been to, but I've been traveling way long before I actually started using Instagram. So some pictures I don't really have on my Instagram, 
But, you know, if I started making YouTube videos about my traveling a long time ago, probably my YouTube is gonna be a bit bigger than this. But, you know, there's never, uh, it's never too late to start. So basically, I mean, the time is still gonna come. It's just like those countries that I've been to, those cities that I've been to, I have to do them again, just for my YouTube channel, just to show the people. But the good part is that I'm not gonna feel like a tourist anymore because I have been there. I have been there for like a couple of times. I have lived there for like three, four days and I have, I know where to go. I know where to find good food and I know like where to stay, the good areas and stuff like that. So it's gonna be, feel more like welcoming to me, so. Legary Dennis, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned and watch me do my thing. Uh, last year I couldn't travel because of COVID. <clears throat> I couldn't travel, so I hope that I will be able to travel this year. The only country, no, no, I went about three countries last year. Yes, I went to Sweden in January with a friend and uh, to renew my 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 uh, international passport. And then I went to uh, Finland in April when one of my Croatia friends visited me. And then we went also together with my ex-girlfriend and my friend to Riga, Latvia together. That was in February, I guess. Yeah, basically. And that was my last travel for the year 20. <laughs> for the year 20, uh, 20. And now we are in 2021, fingers crossed, and I hope that I can travel more this year. So yeah, my test is in five days, still preparing wisdom, Akpabio. Uh, I wish you good luck. I wish you good luck. Fingers crossed for you also. Uh, keep preparing. There is uh, nothing like you are doing too much. Just keep reading and reading and reading and reading over because the more you read, the more you understand. So yeah, I wish you good luck and uh, don't forget to keep to, to keep us in the loop, basically. Keep us in the loop and uh, let us know how it goes. Probably in the next live video next weekend. So yeah, probably next weekend, let's, let, uh, there's gonna be a live video like every weekend, like we did last year. So. Every Sunday at 9 p.m. Estonian time, I'm going to be here, same time, talking to you guys, answering your questions. Maybe some week is going to be more like, it's going to be more like uh, other kind of live video. But uh, this week, it's going to be, this week, we are talking about uh, question and answering. So next week, we don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be based on the contest, like, I will be updating you guys on my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined my Facebook group, now is the time. Just ask me for the link. I will post it here. Uh, I have another question from Ligari Dennis. Um, are there challenges you faced while traveling on an African passport? Uh, what do you mean by challenges? I don't think there's any challenges because uh, within EU, you don't have any problem because nobody's gonna ask you for your paper or your documents within you, within Schengen zone, basically, because it's like, it's visa free, you can go anywhere. <laughs> so you don't really need it. You just need to have your passport and your ID, but nobody's gonna ask for it. Maybe when you wanna check in your flight, but aside that, no custom is gonna stop you or ask you for anything because it's European Union. So I don't think I have any problem traveling. I just think the only one time since I have been in Europe that I got questioning about my destination or where I'm going or how am I returning was only one time when I went to Croatia. And uh, that was in September 2018. Yeah, no, September 2019. I was traveling to Croatia from, what was it, from Germany. So when I was going uh, in Germany, it was, was in Cologne. They checked my. They checked and make sure because I don't need a visa to go to Croatia. So they checked and make sure that I don't need a visa. And then I got a stamp in Germany that I'm leaving the European Union because Croatia is not part of the European Union, but they are part of Europe. So you don't need a visa to go there if you have an European resident permit. So I got stamped, and uh, when I got to Croatia, I also did some questioning like, "Why are you here?" I'm like, "I'm came to visit my friends and stuff." Like the reasons where I met my friends, and you know. And they asked 
for their names and that's all. And they stamped me and I welcome to Croatia. So it was relatively easy. And uh, I was I flew out from another airport, which is in I flew in, in uh, from Croatia from Zagreb, and I flew out through Zadar to Milan. So when I got to Milan, I had to because now I'm going back into European Union. So through Italy. So I need to get an European Union stamp on my passport again. So that took uh, about two, three minutes of questioning, like what am I doing in Italy? How long am I staying? And But once they saw that I have an Estonian resident permit, they just asked for my old passport because I didn't want to see the Schengen visa. And that's all. And that, that basically was it. And uh, so uh, another question, are you using an African passport while traveling? Of course, I use my African passport. I am an Nigerian to the core, and I don't have a dual citizen. So yeah. Namun also mentioned the value of the currency in Naira, please, since most of us are Nigerian. What do you mean the value of the currency? The value, the Naira currency doesn't have any value. That money is the most one of the most useless money ever. Like, I don't see any value in Naira, and I don't think it's gonna change anytime soon. It's just going worse and worse every day. So. It's not a topic that I really want to go into because every time I think about my country, Nigeria, and uh, and the currency and the economy and the situation, it just makes me sad and I want to cry. So I don't think it's a topic that I really want to go to. But I will advise you that if you have your money right now, open a domiciliary account and save your money. Change it to USD or to Euros and save your money because that's the best way to keep your money at the same rate because... Naira keeps going down and going bad and bad and bad every time. So that's basically my advice for you. Mm, so Namun, Namun is a Kenyan. Uh, no, Namun is a Nigerian, but uh, Ligari is a, is a Kenyan. Yeah, is a Kenyan. So, um, so basically, it's like, is there anything else you guys would like to know? Like, yeah, Namun, that, that's the best thing to do, basically, because Naira is depreciating now. How do you say it? It's, it's a currency that I don't even, I usually think that I should start saving some money in Naira. Like, maybe I could build a house in Nigeria for myself, and I'm just like, it's not worth it. Like for real, it's not really worth it because it's just like you save like hundred euros and then your hundred euros is like your hundred euros goes to like eighty euros in two months. Two months? No, in one month. Like near I just went from like four hundred and something to like five hundred and something two euros, and that's very bad. It's okay, it's fine when you're sending money back home, but it's not good when somebody is sending you money from home. Like basically I'm expecting some money from my father like in a couple of days and I'm already thinking because I'm just like, oh no, the money is gonna be, the money is gonna, it's gonna be sending me about 300 euros and when I got the money, it's gonna, I'm gonna get like maybe 240 euros. That's just how shit the money is. So like, yeah, <laughs> Naira is very shit. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Um, I think uh, one man real is equals to hundred one thousand naira and also equals to three point five dollars. Yeah, that that's it. Oman real is a very good currency, but yeah, it's a very good currency. But also, I don't think it's easy to make uh, money in Qatar. You have to work a lot, and I don't think like. There's really not so many professional jobs from what I had because I know some friends from Qatar that moved to Estonia. So opportunities are limited. And I heard that like they don't treat like people of color very well also there. I'm not sure. I don't know. This is just based on my opinion and what I had. So don't come from my head. I'm just uh, giving my opinion. But wisdom of Fabio, it seems like you're living there. And if you have something interesting that you can share with us, kindly share with us like to know about you know different countries because i also want to go to dubai in this year if it's possible to travel 
yeah, but I needed visa to go to Dubai. So I'm thinking like, should I get a visa or just go to a country where I don't need to get anything? So, but yeah, I would love to visit Dubai. It's a very touristic place and yeah. 25 minutes into the video. So I guess uh, this video is gonna be about 30 minutes long. It's going to be about 30 minutes long. Uh, actually, it's so nice to see you guys. And uh, for you that, that joined, if after I wish you all happy new year, happy new year to you guys all again. <laughs> And uh, thank you for always coming. Thank you. It's so nice to see you all again today. Staying consistent and following me in my YouTube journey, answering, uh, asking me questions. And uh, I'm so glad that I could be there for you guys. This is, uh, I'm glad that this platform is moving and we're able to like help each other and grow. So that's great. And uh, so, yeah, you are right. The place is messed up. The locals are heartless and cruel. Yeah, this is what I had. I had like it's also a similar situation in Saudi Arabia. So yeah. I just short time courses, say two years course in Estonian. Can I start software engineering for two years? Steven Gerard, software engineering is a master's degree course. It's not a diploma or a certificate, something. So you have to have a bachelor's degree and it is two years if you want to do it. And it's in University of Tartu. So there's no short course for international students. You either do bachelor's or you do master's degree. I don't think there's any diploma courses for international students at the moment. Maybe there will be something in the future, but as of today, 3rd of January, 2021, nada. Hanamun, Liga Eden is which African currency, please? Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, 27 minutes into the live video. It's so nice to see you all today. And uh, we have only three more minutes left until I'm ending this live video. So if you have any more questions for me, feel free to ask me and if not, it will be until next week. So, but you can always leave your question, of course, on my, on the comment section in any of my YouTube video and I will reply you. I would just appreciate like more of consistency. Like if you want to ask a question relating to some particular topic, I would advise you guys to actually ask a question on that video, you know, like not just like I've seen people like I made a video about why I enjoy living in Estonia. That's a, that's an opinion video, you know, like you, you're not supposed to ask a question like how much does it cost to study? Like you can actually ask me how much does it cost to study in Estonia on that video, but not video like there are videos like I was just talking about jobs or talking about resident permit and people will just ask like some random question that is not even related to the video. I mean, it's not for my sake. It's not for your sake, actually. It's for the sake of people that are actually going to be seeing the video in the future. Because when you ask questions that are not relevant to that video, then they will be like, where's this question coming from? But I still try to reply to you, but uh, I just want you also to be like more specific. So yeah. Steven Gerard, yeah, it's so nice to see you also. Thank you for coming around today. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you also next week. And uh, yeah. I will be here next week with more questions. And also I will be here next week with more answers for you guys, so no worries. So we've got like about uh, two minutes left. So guys, if you don't have any question, I think uh, any question for me anymore today, I think uh, I will be rounding up this live video like uh, soon. So thank you all for coming to this live video. I'm so glad that you were able to ask me a uh, question and answer like questions and I was able to give you answers to your questions. And uh, happy new year to all, to all of us. And uh, I hope and I wish that all our dreams come true in the new year 2021. And also, don't let us just don't let us just sit back and keep dreaming. We have to actually work on our dreams. If you want to get something, you actually have to work for it because nothing comes easy. Like uh, anything that comes easy is really not worth it. It won't last long. If you want something, you have to work for it. And you will see that whenever you work for something, it actually pays off because hard work pays. So yeah, thank you all starting from Manuel, Ligare, Namun, Wisdom and uh, Steven. It's so nice to see you all today. Thank you so much for coming on this live video. And I hope to see you guys again next week when I'm uploading, uh, when I upload a new video for you, of course. And also when we do like a live video at 9 p.m. Estonian time. 
If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like my videos, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you are my OGs, thank you for always coming. Thank you for always showing me the love. And I hope to see you guys and meet with you guys again soon or see you guys one day in Estonia. So thank you and bye for now.